Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna do a service review for webhostingworld.net. I was reluctant to do a review. If I've been thinking about it, certainly throwing the idea around in my head for some time now. Finally, I'm at the end of my rope and decided that it was time, it was certainly time, to warn everybody about webhostingworld.net. And I have very good reason. And if you look at the comments below, once this video gets a few views, because I promise you, webhostingworld.net has created enemies, arch enemies, all across the internet. Because of their service. Because of their uptime. Webhostingworld.net claims to be rated the best web hosting service provider over the last 10 years. You go to their website, they haven't received an award since 2010, and their earliest one is in 2007. In order to say that you've been awarded best web hosting provider for the last 10 years, then that means that your earliest award should say 2002. I apologize for knowing math. Basic math. But that's not at all why I'm creating this video. I'm creating this video because of how I've been treated by webhostingworld.net as a customer. I want to talk about a website that I had with them. It was simply an AdSense blog. It was a niche blog that had content drip fed into it. It was about 30 days old, maybe a little over a month old. And you know, I am, I am very good at what I do. So, when I create a blog, and I decide to target a keyword, after that blog gets indexed, if I target my keyword correctly, the traffic starts showing up from the search engines. Okay? This was going to be just an AdSense site for me to flip, basically, down the road. Now... I, within the first month, your first month is really your slowest month. It's it's always going to be your slowest month when building a website, because you know you're not get you're, you're you got to get your wheels turning to get indexed. Well, I'd pulled in about 300 completely organic visitors to the website in the in a 30 day period. Well, anyone that knows anything about traffic knows 300 people is not a lot of people. It's nothing. Webhostingworld.net deleted my entire website because my 300 visitors in that 30-day period put too much of a stress on their server. Now, I want you to think about that for a second. This is a company that promises 99% uptime and unlimited bandwidth. That's what they promise you. My measly little 300 visitors in a month's time was enough that it stressed out their already overloaded server so much that it knocked out a couple of websites. Probably a dozen websites. They had so many websites all sucking life out of this server because it's shared hosting. They just deleted my website. They just deleted my website. The whole website, they deleted it. Now, I was pissed, okay? Not because I really lost anything of great value, but because it does take time to create a drip feed, schedule your blog posts. I mean, that does take time. I was more pissed that I'd forgotten to back this thing up. Okay, which is, you know, I should have backed it up. I did not back it up. I got into a shouting match with, this, with the uh, online chat for webhostingworld.net told them I was filing a dispute with PayPal and that uh, I wanted my money back. Their response to me was not to try to solve my problem. Their response to me was to delete all of the other seven websites that I had if I filed a dispute with PayPal. This enraged me. I was beyond, beyond aggravated. I started searching online for web hosting reviews related to webhostingworld.net because I wanted to know if I was the only victim. And I found that I wasn't. As a matter of fact, I found a website. I'm going to try to dig it up for this video. I found a website, which is webhostingworld.net reviews. Of all of the comments on webhostingworld.net reviews, 
there wasn't a single real comment from somebody that was appreciative of webhostingworld.net's service. All of the positive comments were fake, and you could tell when you read them. But the negative comments were from people just like me, who had their websites deleted, who didn't experience 99% uptime. As a matter of fact, people that even had worse experiences than I had. Thank God I do back up all of my websites now as a result of my experience with this hack of a web hosting company. So I'm not concerned with them deleting my entire account. I could care less. Because regardless, I own all of the domain names. I could care less. This video has been created to warn you. Do not drop a dime with webhostingworld.net. And if you have, I would love to hear what your experience is with them. Please note that if you work for webhostingworld.net and you plan on leaving a comment, a fake one, to basically praise your service, I can read, I can tell when something's fake. So you're going to have to go the extra mile and be real super creative because I've seen the way you people operate. You leave your own positive comments about your service on your own freaking posts. I've seen them. So be creative if you want to try to spam this video with your positive comments because everyone else can read and everyone else can tell when something's fake. But I promise you, the negative comments that you'll read below, once this video gets some views, are very real from real people you can actually talk to. So having said that, I warn you once again, do not drop a fucking dime with webhostingworld.net ever. And I'm out.